call this the old cock in the sock. We all know what the cock in the sock is, don't we? So what I like to do, I like to um, take the head off your uh, your squid, pull out his little see-through thing, have a check up inside, get that bit of shit out. Right from there, what we do, we slide the head up inside the uh, pilchard like that, which gives us the name cock in the sock. Okay, bottom hook. I'd like to use a uh, triple snell because a lot of snapper come in underneath, take that part and miss the uh, other hook. So I like to put the extra hook in. So one down near the tail, one through the body, like that. And then put your uh, squid up to the light and you'll see it's transparent. You can see the eyes of the pilly through the squid, through the eye and out the other side. That's the effect you get. Okay, now this is my little trick that I've made up this season, which has been helpful. Big red pilly and um, tuna oil works a treat. Get the big needle from um, the vets, or you get them from a barbecue place where they uh, do their um, marinating of their big bulk piece and that. So we just put the needle in, suck a bit of the do the stuff in to your needle, so you just put enough in to do you for a day's fishing, okay? So what I do then, I like to slide the needle up the side of the uh, thing, and that little bit of uh, void area in there, I like to fill that out up with the oil, right? Just give it a squeeze, okay? I can also go in through the arse, like that, and fill up the inside of him. So what we're creating here is, when that bait goes down, it's leaving off a nice burly trail, a scent trail, which is when the times are slow, the snapper will smell that down the track and will be, be attracted to it. Then the other thing that's going to happen, when it's down there, the snapper's going to hit that, all that tuna oil and pilly oil you've got inside the stomach and up in that little void will be like a big burst of flavour. So it's going to bring all the other snapper around and turn them into a frenzy. So if you've got a couple of mates fishing, you keep them floaters going down, they'll stay on the bite and they will follow you. So just thought I'd pass that one on to you as two people. There's, uh, as I said, no secrets with the tiger. I like to help people out, no secrets, uh, just to help better each and every one of us to do what we love doing, okay? Hope it's helped these people.